told this story before, so I'm sorry. Have I told it here? No. no. My really embarrassing, really, really embarrassing airplane story? No. I'm looking at the Venetian page. I have never told this story before. Really, really, really embarrassing airplane story. Yes. Yes. Somebody's heard it. Where they pass out? Yes. So yeah, a couple yes. people have heard it. Okay, I'm going to tell it again because I only have two good stories, and this is one of them. Um, so, do you, is that okay with you if I tell a quick story? Yes. It is, I promise you it's very embarrassing. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, I was about to get on a flight with my wife. We were going to fly um, across country. We are flying from Los Angeles to New York. And my wife's um, mother lives right by the airport. See, you do remember the story. They're laughing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so, we didn't have a lot of money at the time. She offered to take us out to dinner. And when she's paying, I was like, I'm gonna eat a lot. And we went to this Chinese restaurant, and, uh, and I ate a lot of really kind of gross Chinese food. Um, not that all ch Chinese food is gross, but this was gross kind of Americanized Chinese food with a lot of, of uh, uh, jarred garlic. I don't know if you know what that yeah. is, but it's like garlic that's been minced up and put in a jar. And that stuff, I know, kind of makes me a little bit gassy. <laughs> a little bit so, um, but I ate a lot, a lot of this stuff. And then we got on a plane. And got up in the air, we're about 20 minutes into the flight, completely packed flight, and I'm in the window seat. And, um, and I'm sitting there, and there's all these people, like, I have like, my wife, and then somebody else, and I don't want to make a big thing, and we're going up, and I feel something coming on. And I decide just to let, just a teeny bit out. I turn on the little, the blower. Just let it out to, you know, relieve the pressure a little bit. So I did. And it was like... <laughs> the guy, uh, the guy sitting immediately, the guy sitting immediately behind me, fainted. His wife pushed the button, and uh, the flight attendants came up, and they gave him oxygen. Oxygen. What <laughs> What happened has never happened to me before. And the, uh, the, the girlfriend said to the flight attendants, I think someone has gas. <laughs> and the flight attendants couldn't hear what she was saying because she was kind of whispering it. And they said, ma'am, that's not possible. All of the fuel is stored in the wings. None of it comes anywhere close to the, to the cabin, so there's no way there's a gas leak. And then they went away. That blew over, so to speak. And uh, a couple hours later, I felt something for the building. And I thought, all right, this time I'll be really careful. Um, and I just, just... <laughs> he faints again. They administer oxygen again. It was horrible. I was so, I was so humiliated. And then, not even worse, his, his wife again, his, his girlfriend again repeated, you know, somebody, somebody has gas. I said, no ma'am, I told him stop. And then the person sitting next to them said, uh-uh. Somebody has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> we landed, and you know when you land, and the, the thing goes ding, and everybody stands up? We couldn't all stand up, because we had to wait, and we had to wait for the paramedics to come on the plane to check this guy out. And the whole time he's insisting, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, nothing like this has ever happened to me. And I'm just like this in my seat. <laughs> anyway, I challenge Matt to embarrass me again because I'll just make an even worse story about this. Um, anyway, that's my story. <laughs>